Good morning. Good morning. Day 11. Yeah. Oh, good. That's, I was wondering how we were going to hold up fingers for the number of days. It's going to get tricky moving forward, but... <laughs> um, so, you might have noticed that day 10 was pretty uneventful, and footage-wise, it was a little bit more eventful here. Um, so, we actually rushed off trail uh, at the end of day 9 um, to Dix Creek because there was a big, big storm coming in yesterday. Yeah, pretty much everybody was trying to get off trail. It was thunderstorms and high wind advisories, which... I don't even I didn't even want to know what that was like because the day that day was so windy already and there yeah. was no wind advisory so yeah, I was like what it felt like we were getting beat up by the wind yeah. and the cold like slapped in the face every every step um but yeah so we headed down to Dix Creek which was about 19 miles past Unicoi where we had first caught the shuttle yeah so we just rode back into town for day 10 and now we're ready to get back on the trail looks like we should have some pretty nice weather for the next like five or six days hopefully so yeah and we got some some milestones we'll be crossing and i want to share those with you guys along the way yeah so we'll see you out there yep yeah. bye little foggy this morning but the sun's trying to pop through and honestly it's super nice out not too windy it's beautiful I'll take it oh, the birds, are chirping. birds are chirping loving that fresh rain that came through all the worms came out for them it's just a nice day Mountain snail. I almost stepped on you. <laughs> Hurry. Get off the path. Yeah, quick. Today has been like a really amazing day and we're pretty pumped and excited because we are about to be done with our first date. Only 13 more to go. We're like half a mile from the border of North Carolina. I was doing some reflecting today too because I just got to the uh, top of this mountain here. We've been doing a lot of elevation today up into North Carolina and I was thinking about how two days ago we were just getting like battered by the wind. Like it was so bad. All day, just like battered against the mountain by the wind. And then today, I just like got to the top of that mountain and it was, it's been warm today, it's been really nice. And then all of a sudden this beautiful breeze came through and I was just thinking about how like <laughs> from one day to the next or even more than that, how quickly like the elements and things change and affect you. One second the wind is my worst enemy and the next it's my best friend.
How far have we gone? Eight point something. Yeah, almost nine miles. Almost nine miles today. And we just hit a milestone. You guys gotta check this out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. One state down, 13 to go. Let's go! Let's go! So, we are in the most beautiful state, North Carolina. <laughs> kidding I'm just biased because that's where I live but I swear since we entered we have done nothing but go uphill it's quite the welcome but beautiful watching the most killer sunset from our tent. I'm not even sure radio does it justice. We made it to Muskrat Shelter. We haven't even seen the shelter because we found a little tent site off to the side and it's awesome. We've been watching the sunset right from our tent. It's awesome. How many miles did we do today? Uh, I think it was around 12 and a half. 12 and a half? And a lot, a lot of elevation. I think as soon as we crossed into North Carolina, it, it greeted us with about four miles of just uphill. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome though. Yeah, it was a good day. I feel good and uh, really yeah. good views all day. Yeah, and we're excited to be in North Carolina. Yeah. One state down, 13 to go. We'll see you tomorrow.